So this is a beautiful song by Bhaktivinoda Thakur and uh, there's a few special lines uh, in your own household. He's referring to Krishna's household, no? He's serving rather in Krishna. So say, I do this service not to get remuneration. This, this one line makes devotion or not devotion. Everybody in the world searches for remuneration. I mean, how many servants has Bill Gates? Thousands and thousands and thousands. One man has thousands of servants. You may think, well, maybe he's Krishna. Well, now let's ask how many devotees has Bill Gates? Huh? How many people do things for him without remuneration? Well, maybe his wife. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Most likely not even she. Huh? Anyway, that's another story, no? The husband and wife story. This the the attempt of finding a substitute of Krishna, no? That's what this is in the material world. Every man wants to have a woman and that this woman should substitute Krishna. Or he wants to substitute Krishna. That's actually more common. Hmm? You want to be Krishna or you want to have a Radha? Or you want to be Radha? Want to be Radha? This is not uh, very popular. Because you only want to be Radha if you really love somebody. Radha really loves Krishna. So much she loves him that she's his 100%. Unconditionally. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shikshastakam. You know that you may trample me upon me, you may break my heart, make me feel broken hearted by not being present before me. You're always my Lord unconditionally. Well, that's Radha. So who wants to be Radha for some silly man? Hmm? Is that so? Or do you want to be Krishna and want her to be Radha? Do you want to have your own private Radha? Oh Radha, you love me so much, right? No, I don't. What do you mean you don't love me? Well, because you're just silly, fool. How can I love you? You're so full of mistakes, so faulty. How do you expect me to love you like that? Besides that, who are you? You're just like they say, Tom, Dick and Harry. Just like an ordinary guy. How do you expect to get so much attention? I mean, you, you cannot even control your senses. What to speak of controlling the universe? Krishna controls the universe. And what, what do you control? Huh? Can you control your mind? No. Can you control your, your uh, economy? No. Can you control your health? No. Can you control the weather? No. So what can you control? Nothing. So just accept that you're a little silly, silly nobody. Hey, I'm not a silly nobody. I'm somebody. I'm somebody very, very important. Just nobody knows it. Then you come to the Mayavadi Guru. And he says, silly little nobody. I will make you God. Hmm. So hum. So hum. It's only one truth. I am, I am, I am him. And you say, oh, this guru is so wonderful. Before I was just a little employee and the boss screamed at me. I was a little husband and my, my wife told me I'm useless. Huh? I was a little student and everybody was smarter than me, so I looked like a fool. Hmm? Now I come to Gurudev and Gurudev says, you're God. 
Om Namo Narayana. All you need to do is meditate a little bit and give me some money and you'll be every day more God. Oh, I love this guru, huh? <laughs> yes, he really finally somebody recognizes the divinity in me. Before nobody wanted to see any divinity. When I went to the army, they told me, throw yourself in the mud. No, no, then go to jail. No, no, I, what you, what you, who you think you are? You're a soldier, a soldier obeys or is chastised. Isn't it? If you want to argue in the police with the supreme, superior policeman, what will happen with you? Immediately you get knocked or locked up. In this institution, we need discipline. And whether you're here voluntary or not voluntary, here's discipline. Yes. So everybody was treating you like you're some kind of a useless idiot. Your opinion was never asked. Nobody asked for your opinion, right? In school, when you want to say something, the, the teacher says, shut up. Huh? In the military, you better don't even open the mouth. Huh? In your job, you want to argue with the boss? You're out of a job right there. So I, I didn't pay you for arguing with me. You know, I pay you 10,000 rupee every month. You're my slave. You do everything I say. Or you be out there in the street with all the rickshaw drivers who have to peddle a rickshaw like mad just to get 2,000 rupees a month to feed the children. That's the material world, my dear little want-to-be Krishna. You little want-to-be Krishna and looking for your Radha, huh? This is what's going on in this material world. Selfless devotion in this material world. Somebody loving you so much that they want to simply do what you like. Yeah, you're in a good dream and a good illusion. But you think, but surely my wife, she must feel like this. She must feel, now I'm married to this handsome jewel of God's creation. He is my husband. I'm religiously married to him, and my only pleasure is his pleasure. Do you find wife like this today in India? Huh? Maybe a hundred years ago. Maybe they were like this, trained up by their mothers, no? Don't argue with the man. Men are dangerous species, don't argue with them. The Bhagavatam says, for a woman, it is good to manage the man without giving opposition. If, you, if a woman wants a man, her husband, to do what she likes, she has to make him think it was his idea. If she can manage that to make him think that it's his idea, then she can get it.